guys ready? Let's go. You ready? Let me hear some noise. Are we ready to roll? We got work to do. Let's go. There we go. Oh, I'm fired up to be here. All right, here's what I know. I know that on the outside of these walls, on the outside of these walls, the words that often get spoken about our work as educators. I'm not just talking here in our community or our state, I'm talking nationally as well. What do you mean you want a raise? You get paid too much already, you do what? You didn't deserve that raise, or our data wasn't high enough, or we didn't score high enough, or we didn't do well enough. Here's what I know. I know the work is amazingly hard. I know that every day you give and you give and you give and you give often until you have nothing left. I know when I look at the eyes of amazing people like you every day, that pour your lives into other people's children. You know what I know? You love kids and you go 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 and you change lives. So here's how we're gonna begin. I want you to find three or four people around you and I just simply want you to give them a big high five and you're gonna yell this. I got your back. Do it, let's go, do it, go. never stand in front of those people that pour their lives into other people's children without starting with that. Thank you for your work. Thank you for loving and caring about kids. Thank you for the late nights. Thank you for the early mornings. Thank you for those days where you go and you go and you go and you go and you get home and you have nothing left to give your own family and that happens and it's not right and it happens but thank you for those. Thank you for the late nights. Thanks for coming on a day like today with such energy and passion and cowbells and drums and doing whatever you gotta do to bring that passion and energy. Thank you for your work. Your work matters every single day but here's what else I know. You know what else I know? I'll be real throughout this whole presentation. I'll be very real with you because I also know the work is really, really, really hard. What you do every single day is not easy. Listen, I was talking to Sarah the other day. She's 26 years old, third year teacher. <laughs> She's not aging so well because of this work. The work is hard, gang. The work is hard. All right, as you're finishing that up, let me introduce what's most important in my world besides my wife. You know what's so important to me? It's not anything I do out of DC, and honestly, it's not even education. What's so important to me is this right here. See this little girl? That's my little baby girl right there. She's nine years old. She's coming to a fourth grade classroom just like yours in just a couple weeks in a public school in Pennsylvania. Well, she's part, here's the other part. See this little guy right here? He just turned six. He's coming to a kindergarten classroom just like yours in a couple weeks. Kindergarten teachers, where are you? So here's the thing. <laughs> here's the thing, kindergarten teachers. Do you see how cute he looks? Let me show you what I'm really sending your way. He looks like that. That's right. My little ball of chaos is coming your way. Good luck. Kindergarten teachers, I am sorry. I'm just to tell you in advance. Now here's the thing, we can laugh, we can be serious, but process this for a minute. That little boy right there, part of my whole world, is the class of 2032. And we think about those changes. You know, speaking of kids today, I was flying out of Minneapolis the other night, and as I was flying out of, we got one person from Minnesota, that's awesome. And I was, flying, I was flying out of Minneapolis the other night and I was ordering some food and the lady behind the counter, here's what I heard her say. Well, kids today. And I'm like, oh boy, here she goes, she's getting ribbed up. Kids today are so entitled. Kids today are so this. Kids today are so that. Kids today have no respect. Kids today have it so easy. Kids today have this and this. If you've ever heard somebody refer to kids today in a negative light, put your hand up high. You think about the changes that are out there, right? Because here's what I know about kids today. Here's what I know about the kids in your amazing school district. Kids today are awesome. Do you agree with that? Give me a yes, come on. You know what else I know? Kids today have so many of the exact same needs that we had when we grew up. They need to be loved. Kids today need to be cherished. Kids today need to feel like they belong just like we did, just like we did, just like we did. Kids today need a teacher like you that will run through walls for them just like we did, just like we did, just like we did. You know what else about kids today? Kids today have more opportunity to change the world than we ever did. So my friends, what are we doing about it? If you think part of your role, if you're in this room, is to help push kids a little bit out of their comfort zones, to learn a little bit, to grow a little bit, put your hand up high. 
because I'm going to model that for you. Because here's the thing, misheard song lyrics, they're really fun when you're listening. They're even more fun when you're singing. Stand up, stand up, stand up, stand up. Oh, yeah. Is he serious? Yeah, you better believe it. I know you know the chorus. I know you know the chorus. I know you know it. Come on, let's go. The impact of a teacher. The impact of your work that you get to do every single day. As the stories would come out, they talked about his leadership. They talked about his relationships. They talked about the differences he made in his community. And as the stories came out, and as the stories came out, and as the stories came out, 4,000 people paid respects to my mentor. 4,000. Don't you ever, ever, ever say that you're just a teacher or just a custodian or just a secretary or just a bus driver or just a whatever your role might be because you have just the right opportunity every single day to change the lives of kids. And you know what? You do it. You do it every single day. In the words of Manny Scott, he's from California, one of the original Freedom Writers, one of the things he says about your work is that even on your worst day, teacher, even on your worst day, principal, David, even on your worst day, you are some child's best hope. The work is hard, but our kids are worth it. You see, when we think about our work, I've shared my babies, I've shared my family, there they are. I know you don't know them, I know that. They're my whole world, they're part of what I, why I do what I do. But you know what I do know? That every single kid coming to your school, to your classroom, is somebody else's entire world. Do we teach like that? Do we lead like that? My friends, do we love them like that? You know why? Because your story is not finished yet. Go get it this school year. Thanks, man.